Hey everybody, John here from Catbird Hill. So, welcome back. A little bit of a different video today. Uh, actually very different from what you're used to seeing with running chainsaws and wood chippers and tractors and so forth. Just a little bit of a, 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 an update on what's going on in our lives and uh, maybe some, uh, some uh, tempting information regarding maybe some uh, new videos that we're going to be releasing uh, in the next couple weeks. So we have a huge uh, change going on here at Catbird Hill, particularly in our house. So I don't know if I mentioned before, but our house is really old. It was built in 1790. And obviously back then there was no, no such thing as central air conditioning. So for the almost 20 years that we've lived here, we have uh, dealt with window air conditioner units. Typically every year, taking three individual units, either from our basement or attic, putting them in different windows in the house, plugging them in, doing all the setup you need to do for a window air conditioner unit, and then dealing with three to four months of roaring, you know, jet engine sounds coming from these things, uh, blocking the views out of three of the windows of the house, and dealing with the uneven coolness you know, some rooms really cold, other rooms where the air conditioner's not in there, it's too warm. So we finally um, decided to bite the bullet and have central air conditioning installed. And we're gonna be doing a really unique system. It's a high velocity system. It's specifically designed for houses like ours that are made out of stone and brick, um, where you have no, you know, space in between the outer wall and inner wall to run duct work. So we'll try to do maybe some video of the installation of that. It's a really unique system. It's gonna take about three weeks to do the job. Uh, the contractor is literally gonna to have to be all over the house, in every room, attic, basement, in and out. And we just decided the best thing for us to do is to move out of the house. Uh, it's just gonna be a lot calmer, a lot cleaner. If we're out of the house, we can still you know, get into the house if we need to. But uh, we also have three indoor cats that live in that house. So uh, them dealing with all that upset's not a good idea. So that was the uh, impetus for today's video. So what we did is we decided to rent a 32 foot RV. Uh, this is the Shadow Cruiser Ultralight. Uh, we got this delivered a couple of hours ago and we actually checked, we started checking these out about three to four months ago. And we found a company that's very local to us, a uh, really nice family run company. And they basically rent RVs, all different types, drivables, trailer models. And this is the one we chose. Uh, it's, it's gonna be perfect for us. It's, it's not too big, not too small. Uh, we have never ever, Beth and I have never stayed in an RV in our lives. Um, so this is going to be a really cool experience for us. Uh, I think it's going to be like a little bit of an adventure. But you can see, you know, it's got, you know, it's really decent size when you look at it from the outside. It's got a rear entrance, which is sort of nice. Um, we'll take you on a tour inside. I, we got it set up. Um, I just spent a little bit of extra time leveling. It, you know, where we have it parked here on the property it's a little bit of a slope uh, from, from this side down. You can see the ground sort of slopes down. So we got it all leveled up really nice. So let's go inside, we'll take a little tour. And again, you know, maybe uh, other people who are watching this who do RV a lot are gonna be uh, not so impressed, but man, I tell you, I am really impressed with this thing. So coming in, it's a really spacious inside. I mean, it's, it's actually remarkable in a lot of ways. Um, when you look at it from the outside, it doesn't look like it should have this much space, but you know, there's like a nice big sofa. We've got our eating area, which is gonna actually double as our workspace when we, on the days we work from home. Uh, we've got a nice kitchen island here propane gas stove, little work area, microwave, refrigerator. We have a nice little entertainment center here, flat screen TV. 
come back a queen size bed with lots of nice storage we can close the uh, we can close the doors here let me see I'll show you yeah these doors are kind of cool they just sort of slide that'll keep the kitties out of the bed we don't want them in there you know we're really we set it up so that you know we'd have a nice view uh, out the back windows here you know when we're having breakfast and dinner and so forth a really nice size bathroom shower toilet uh, nice little sink here there's the back door not that we need it but we've got two bunk beds here uh, we're probably going to just use those for storage but and we've got a little a little pantry storage closet in here so it really it, i'm amazed i'm i'm impressed you know beth is already telling me oh my gosh i can see how excited you're getting you're going to want to have an rv uh, i don't know if i'd necessarily want an rv right now we've got so much stuff going on but i'm really impressed with this and one of the things that that led to our decision to go this route is well it's a couple of things actually we um you know we've got indoor pets like we said we have cats and you know we have family members who live close by you know relatively close to us and you know they would be more than happy to host us for the three or four weeks that you know we need to be out of the house but um, I just you know I just don't feel comfortable imposing on people especially with pets and if they're not used to having pets and honestly for for the cost of renting this for a month and the fact that we can be here on the property anybody who's done a major project knows that there are a thousand questions that contractors you know often have to the for the homeowner um, you know, I work from home usually at least one or two days a week. Um, Beth usually works from home one day a week. One of us is very likely to be here almost every day, uh, at least part of the day, and we're going to be available. We can get into the house. We can talk to the contractors who are doing the work. If we need to make some changes or adjustments, we can be right there. It should hopefully make their job a lot easier by having us here if, we need, if they need to have questions answered we can still get into the house we can use the laundry um, we can you know use the kitchen for you know for uh, most of the time I would think um, our vehicles are here you know I can continue to maintain the property so it just made a lot of sense and honestly you know we started to price out you know renting a house or you know a condo or something like that this this actually ended up being a much better deal so Anyhow, stay tuned. Thanks for watching this little uh, video about the beginning of our adventure here. A shout out to Howard Kettner from 82 Maple. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do so. Howard, this totally makes me feel like you and Coral Dawn for some reason. Uh, you guys have that nomadic blood in you. And even though we're not going anywhere, I feel like when I'm hanging out in an RV, uh, Howard should be with me uh, with Coral Dawn. So hope you guys are doing well. Until next time, John here from Catbird Hill. Take care. Please click the thumbs up, a subscribe if you haven't done so, share these videos with your friends, and hopefully pretty soon uh, we'll get some video of us living inside of this beautiful RV. Take care.